everyone, and welcome back. Except for getting the material to do the roof on this, the little cow shelter is done. Well, as much as I'd like to stay out here for another hour and finish this side up, that's all I got in me today. It's 8 o'clock. I got a video I've got to get started editing on. And uh, I've had enough for today. <laughs> well, it's the evening of the next day. Had a real busy day today. I worked this morning. I went out to eat with Melissa. And then when I got back here later this afternoon, I just went and finished weeding on this side of the garden. I was going to go put one of the other posts in on that gate, but we have a bunch of rain coming in for tonight and tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be really rainy, starting you know close to midnight. So I wanted to get this part here finished weeding. Like I went in between and I weeded out my radishes so they're far enough apart. Went through and weeded like in the bean row, not just down the row, but within the row. And so I'm doing that now so it has a chance to kill off a little bit before it gets dumped on with rain again tomorrow. I thinned out the radishes here like I said, and it's weird because you can see when it rains this is where the water laid and you can see the bean row didn't do nearly as good. No radishes, but we have a tomato plant there that's just a one that come up from last year and this is actually one of them forget what they're called you guys always know they have the little it's like a cherry tomato inside of a Chinese lantern <laughs> that's one of them I'm just letting that grow I realize that watching me weed in the garden is pretty boring but it has to be done weeds are your biggest enemy in your garden
it'll be interesting to see how everything does. I mean, everything is struggling right now because of the weather. This morning, I just got some stuff going on with these beans. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, this morning, it was 40 degrees. 40.6 degrees, I think it was. That's not giving you very much heat. It did get up to 70. Now that the uh, there's no sun and it's cooling down for tonight, the mosquitoes are coming out. Like I get some of these bean plants that just died off. So I'm not sure what's happening, but with all the rain and the cold, beans like cold, but I don't think they like as much cold as they've been getting. This row here is carrots. I think these are the kaleidoscope ones. Not as good a germination as I'm used to, but so dang wet this year that lucky any of them came up. finished over here it's a little after seven o'clock man the mosquitoes are coming out the humidity's coming up that storm's coming and the mosquitoes are coming out I still need to get in here and weed this whole side and it needs it pretty bad and I've got a I weeded through some of these uh, carrots over here maybe I'll get to a little bit of them tonight yet I kind of want to go look at that back Field. I haven't looked at that for a couple of days. If I don't get killed by mosquitoes. Some of the clover is starting to come up or alfalfa, whatever it is. I wanted to do some more reseeding. Just come in here and reseed some of this, but they've been talking for the last two days about how there's going to be possibly some downpours in this batch of rain coming. And I didn't want to go through that again. You have to wait so long to do the carrots because they're tiny to see. But when I should have done it, everything was covered in water. <laughs> I put some bug spray on to keep the mosquitoes away. Melissa watched a video last week where the guy sprayed DEET on his yard just in one little spot and it killed the grass. So now she's 100% against DEET. <laughs> and I said, well, she hates mosquitoes as it is. So, and they had just flocked to her. I said, I keeping my DEET.
Well, I'm done weeding for tonight. I'm gonna go inside and edit on a video for a while. It's almost eight o'clock. Got a little rain falling this morning. Well, it's about 7.30 at night right now. Today was one of them days that went completely different than what I had expected. Just, I didn't get home until a little after six and I was here during the day and then gone and then here and gone. And anyway, from you saw the rain this morning and since midnight last night, we have got 1.45 inches of rain. I'm glad that I weeded this because a lot of this was pretty hard ground and it got to sink in faster. I do think that the corn grew today, but some of the weeds that I weeded have been watered back in, so yeah, it really rained. I mean, it was in the back part there of the, right in here, it was puddled water again. I think now it might rain in the morning for a couple hours around that 4 to 6 o'clock range. Then it's supposed to be sunny, but only 60 degrees tomorrow. And then a couple days later, we have a bunch of more storms coming. It just won't, I looked at the thing on my weather thing, and it said that this month alone now, we've got, and the, the month is almost done, but 8.68 inches, I think. And almost, it was 17 point something for the year, you know, to date. So we've got over half of that rain just this month. And then, like, I've keep saying it's been cold so yeah lucky I have a garden at all <laughs> I'm sure I still have standing water in this back field on that left side yeah I'm gonna have to call this farmhouse lake pretty soon luckily we have this big fan by the back door it keeps the mosquitoes from getting in the house it kind of de-mosquitoes you when you're going in. Dogs, too. So that's probably all I'm going to film for tonight. And tomorrow is Saturday, so see where that takes us. Good morning, everybody. Melissa's in there making, going to be making breakfast for lunch, so I thought I'd come up here and out here and do a little bit of cleaning up and kind of a mess. I still had some potatoes left from last year. I just went and put those in the compost pile. It's another yucky day out there, it was raining earlier. And now it's just cloudy and windy and I think it's like 58 degrees going for 60. That looks a lot better. I have to bring a broom out here and sweep some of this, but uh, it's 12.09, so I imagine the lunch is just about done. I was in there earlier and she was doing bacon and just about to put in the biscuits.
Well, it's 7.30 in the evening right now. After lunch, I hung out inside for a little while and then it started to rain. Melissa and I watched a movie and now Sven Gulli is on. We actually watched a bunch of YouTube uh, stuff too while it was raining. Everything about gardening and cows, and but I wanted to check, you know, <laughs> I don't come out here too often in the videos because this is so overgrown. You guys remember this is the strawberry garden. Strawberries in here. Uh, some raspberries in here that, are, were they raspberries or blackberries that get as, almost as big as your thumb? I got them from the lady when we got the uh, rhubarb and I got a whole bunch of rhubarb planted here too and I've dug every single one of them up and oh the mosquitoes are horrible. Took a shower so now no bug spray. Uh, and then but some roots get left but as you can see, all of the rhubarb comes back up again. I dig it up, there's a little bit of roots there, it grows back. I can take it out again this year, there'll be a little bit of roots left, it'll come up next year. This is not the ideal place for it, it gets way too much sun. It does best when it's planted on the east side of the building here. It gets a little bit of morning sun, nothing in the afternoon. It also does pretty good on the north side, but when it gets full sun like this, it never does really good, but it I means it's not bad but nothing like the stuff that's like by the chicken coop where it's huge. Oh, the mosquitoes. So anyway, this is kind of my, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but <laughs> I can just have an unlimited supply of plants that I can just dig up and next year they'll come back up again. And these are those raspberries or blackberries. They do not get ripe until late in the season, but they're huge and so many of them. And I think, boy, you'd have to go back a, two, three years to find out when I got the rhubarb, I bought the rhubarb plants from the lady. We had to dig them up. And then she said, here, do you want some of these? And she gave me two or three of these. And now I think there's five or six of them here. And just look at all them green berries on there. And they get big. You can see I've got them here. Three over here. I see one has come up over there. There's one, there's another one that started there. One over here. I mean, I planted, when I planted them, they were in a straight row. So these have just, I don't know if the berries fell down and they reseeded. Some of this is from the roots, I'm not sure, but pretty excited about these this year. But the main reason I came out here was just to check the strawberries. Believe it or not, there are hundreds if not thousands of raspberry plants in here. And when we did this, we didn't do it right. I should have hilled it and then put plastic over the hill or did raised beds in here. I, I could, you, can't keep a, you can't keep ahead of the grass stuff that's in here. So last year I said, screw it, I'm not doing anything. We'll put them in raised beds when I have time. And I look forward to when I do have time, but I don't have time right now, and we added more stuff, but still, we get all kinds of strawberries. <laughs> you just have to look for them. The plants get big. See them all growing down in there? And I saw one when I first came in here. I actually saw this one the other day. It was starting to get red. Look at that one right there. Yep. And I mean, I've got this row. I think we had three or four rows. The thing is, now they have whatever they do with their runners, so they're just everywhere. Look at that, there's another one turning red in there. But man, the mosquitoes, what, tomorrow now, I've got a few things that I need to get done. Melissa's gonna do homemade pizzas again, and uh, she's got stuff to do with peaches. So I, I have stuff to do in the workshop and then I've got just other stuff, but I can come out here maybe. I'll just cake myself with bug spray and then come out and take a better look. That one red one, I'll pick it and give it to Melissa. Last year we got a whole bunch of them, sent a bunch down to her mom. Some of these are June bearing and some of them are ever bearing and I can't remember which ones are which. I'd actually have to go back and watch the video so yeah, and there's that grapevine that I got from my brother that did horrible the first couple of years. 
and then completely died off and now came up from the bottom is really doing good. Just gonna keep, oh, I guess it grabbed it. Oh, I guess it did grab it right here. So I don't like when they grab onto the grass like this though. I want them to grab onto the fence. There. I think when I finally do come in here to switch this out and do it differently, I'm gonna come in here with a mower, mow all of this to about whatever the highest setting on the mower is. I'll still be able to see where the strawberry plants are, dig them up, and then do it correctly. I'm gonna pick, where is that strawberry at? Right here, I'll pick this for Melissa. Oh, there we go. I always have a ton of stuff that needs to get done, but if I didn't, be some pretty boring videos. I have to contact the greenhouse that we got these trees from this year. That's a plum tree right there. This is a plum tree. This one was slow to start. I was worried, but it did take off. This one over here is one of the peach trees. Nothing. It started to get like some buds and then nothing happened. And they said if it doesn't take off, you know, to get a hold of them. And I, I, I would rather they just replace it instead of refund me, but it's a two hour drive. I'm, well, maybe it was just a little over an hour, I can't remember. I can see it growing up from the bottom, from the rootstock, but that's not gonna do me any good because that's not the same kind of a tree. This one, this one has leaves on it, you know, but my contender over there does not. Look at all the cherries on the cherry tree. All right, that's it, I'm done. I'm going in, I put a video up. I never checked the video. I put them up at five o'clock. I don't check them for two hours and then I can start going through comments, so. I think I'm gonna do that instead of get eaten by mosquitoes. This grapevine right here has made it up to the fence. All these are doing pretty good. Melissa ordered a mosquito trap <laughs> and it took over a month to get here because they were supposed to work really good. We'll see. I should have it over by the uh, strawberry patch, but I just set it up and it's got a little light and a fan that sucks them down in there. It's, tonight's not going to be a great night for it though because it's 57 degrees right now. Up by the tent, they are under a possible frost warning tonight. It is, I don't know, one of the last two days of June right now. Good morning, everybody. When I woke up this morning and looked at my weather station, it said it was 38.8 degrees and it had got down to 38.5. And the sun was just starting to come up and usually the coldest part of the day is right when the sun starts coming up because I don't know if the warmth of the sun pushes the cold air down, I'm not sure. But I threw on my jacket and came out here and took a look at the garden to make sure that there was no frost because my weather station thing outside sits about eight feet in the air. And a lot of times it's colder, closer to the ground. I don't think it really is this time of year because the ground is already warmer, but yeah, it had me a little bit worried. Where's summertime? Well, it's afternoon now, 2.48. Melissa made uh, a homemade sourdough pizza, sourdough crust pizza for lunch today. And I wanna mow the grass, but I bent this piece of metal again underneath here.
I mean, this one is really bent this time. It seems like, and I, I mean, I bolted it up really good too. It seems like once these things, and I had, it, I had to fix it over here last time. Now it's bent here, so when you go, it just scoops. It was carving into the yard, getting worse and worse. But it seems like once you bend these, you always have trouble with it. So I'm probably going to have to order a new one eventually. Figured that mower would be dead by now from what we've put it through, but it seems to do pretty dang good. is flat on the bottom. It's not like this. So there is one more spot I can put a, a nut and a bolt on there. I mean we have put that, if you guys have watched long enough, we have put that lawn mower through more than any lawnmower should ever have to go through. I have no idea if this is even close. But when I put the bolts on, it should uh, tighten it up. That sits fairly flat. I need one more bolt for in here, but it doesn't have the square hole. I think what this was for is to hook the grass catcher thing on there. You, you know, you put the bungee like thing through there, but I think I can get a bolt to go in there instead. No, you think that the bungee would go here? I have no clue. It sure warmed up today from this morning. I think it's like 70 degrees now. to see if that arch thing comes in. What a chow. They're climbing up there. Oh. I know, they're gonna be thick this year. I somebody saw somebody else on Facebook said that they're, somebody was complaining about their garden and they said that their raspberries were doing just awesome this year. Somewhere in Minnesota. They must like the water. Still can't believe how many roses are in there. I mean, I hundreds of them. Oh, they're even getting a little blue on them, see? This one right here is getting a little color on it. They're just little berries though, again. trees have grown up in here now after all the other ones died. I mean that's just since we bought the place there was nothing like that here.
I figure I can run faster than you. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just kick you out. <laughs> You guys are getting slow. Come on, Chunky! Chunky taking the lead. Well, I got sidetracked. Melissa wanted to go on a buggy ride and then we did that and then we decided well we better run the dogs so we came back and got them I think it would be super hard to get a bolt in that hole I think we'll leave it like that and see what happens Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Today was... I, I was going to keep this one going, but I'm, I'm done. Today was just one of them days. I woke up this morning, and I'm going to go up and go, gonna go to the tent. Just going to go up for just a few hours today. I wanted to do a video for you guys the uh, and see what it looks like after all that stuff was flooded. You know, Zachary's been up there, and my dad's been up there a couple times, and the water is down, but... I wanted to see it and I thought it's smart to bring it back into video because everybody's wondering from the flood video that I showed. And then I have to go up there because I'm doing a review video on this little battery 
and I always test them at the tent. So I know you guys don't much care for the review videos, but I have a lot of fun with it. So I, and I have bills to pay. So I wanted to get up there and test this, kill two birds with one stone. So anyway, I leave the house, go up to the, the gas station to get diesel. I get there, I pull up to the pump, and uh, I don't have my wallet. My wallet is, I left it in, at the house because I switched trucks and stuff at the end of last week. And I didn't have to go anywhere this weekend. That's fine. Go home, get my wallet, go back, get fuel. So that burned, you know, I left at a decent hour this morning and that killed 25 minutes. So then I drive and I go and I'm way into my trip. And I stop, when I'm going up to the tent, I stop at that one uh, Super One and I get some food. And I wasn't going to get any food, but since that I got screwed up that 25 minutes, I thought, well, I might not get out of there and be able to get down to civilization to get food for lunch. And I had some other stuff that I had to stop, I had to pick up. And, and so anyway, I get up there, I go in there, I get some hamburgers and um, some hamburger buns, come out, get in my truck, and I'm like, you can imagine the language, I never grabbed the battery this morning. <laughs> so what is I even driving for? I so I fried a quarter of a tank of diesel driving up there and back and I didn't and so I, I when I got out of the, the grocery store and figured that out I said I'm done I am done with this day so anyway I came home and first I went down there with Melissa's work and we had lunch together at her office because I, I was coming through that area then I came home and then I did go out and put Remember how I put that post in for the gate, the second gate, on that one area that we're fencing off kind of for the winter area for the cows? I put the other post in, and then after that I went and did a whole bunch of weeding in the garden because tonight, today was a really nice day. Tonight now, it was sunny before when I was weeding, now the clouds are rolling in, and we're supposed to get between a half inch and an inch and a quarter of rain. Starting tonight and going into probably noon tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I'm going to get in my truck and I'm going to drive up to the tent, check everything out for the flooding, do a, it'll just be a short video for this channel, and then finish my video on this thing so I'm, I'm done with that because this has to be put up by this July 6th or 8th, I, I don't know when, one of those two days, and uh, so I can get everything done. But I get myself scheduled and I know exactly what I'm going to do for that day and what I want to get accomplished. And then when you throw a wrench into it like that, for me, that's really tough. It just completely took the wind out of me. Uh, yeah. So I didn't even film doing the post, so I'm done. So anyway, I mean, it's been a good week. It just was a bad morning. This is what I had to pick up afterwards. It's a cast iron 24 by 20 sink. And you can actually still buy these. It's a Kohler, what is this one? A 6415 or something, 8415, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, Melissa saw it on Marketplace for free in Duluth. And uh, the people were selling, they're moving. Anyway, you can still buy these. Of course, it would be brand new and wouldn't be all dirty, but uh, 1900 bucks. I seen one for, no, no, I'm sorry, $1,092 I saw it for and $1,060 some dollars. And uh, it was free. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little dinged up. So I thought that she would want to put it in here because we're going to have to have somewhere for her to run water and then I'll just run, you know, it isn't going to be any kind of black, you know, water, just be gray water. So I'll just run it outside. But, um, we have another one of these that's bigger that's in the front garage and we'll probably put that in here. But inside the house, like you walk into the mudroom area, which is always a mess because that's where we just store stuff and you come in there in the wintertime, you know, it, you're, everything comes into that room before you go into the house. And then you go around the corner to the left and that's the main bathroom. Well, in the corner, like when you come in that, the door from the mudroom, then there's a little corner here where the bathroom door is. And there is about 20 inches to that door and about 24 inches, exactly 24 inches to the, the opening between the mudroom and that little back entry where you go up the stairs into the bathroom, into the mudroom or into the kitchen. 
So this will be tight, but we're going to put this there because we don't have a deep sink in the house. So with this one here, and she already found a faucet that comes up and it's got the sprayer, we could put five gallon buckets in here of water. Because I mean, went to water in the summertime for us is easy. I got, can run hoses and everything. And I've got a water that comes up underneath the, the trailer here that's going to eventually get torn out. And when that gets torn out, where that water comes up, I'm going to build a little pump house. Be a little cute little pump house. And then put a thing that comes on. Because that runs, that runs all the way to the house well. It's got really good water pressure. But for in the wintertime, I shut that down, heat taped the whole thing. Because the first year we moved here, didn't even know it was there. And all of a sudden, I hear the pump going off and on all the time. So I'm out there in 20 below weather fixing a water leak because it's, it cracked the line. So now I know, end of October, beginning of November, I plug the heat tape in, I insulate everything, I shut the water off to the hoses that go outside, and then I'm good for winter. But for now, um, so then, you know, if I have to bring water to the cows or whatever, I don't have the option of having a water hose out there. I have to do it with five gallon buckets. And now when we fill stuff up, we do the little two gallon ones and we use the kitchen bathroom. But in the wintertime, your feet get so full, you know, they're going to be dirty and everything. So then it'll just be in the mudroom around the corner, you know, and that's the only part that'll be dirty. So yeah, pretty good deal for free. And when we do finally put a sink in here, we're going to put it against the wall and that corner back there because it doesn't get real warm on this side because of the hot water here. It's the fires over on that side. So right probably back in there somewhere, but it's not going to be that sink. And like I said, let's see, I got the second post in right over here for the 12 foot gate that's going to go over there. It's somewhere over here. And like I said, I did more weeding in the garden. I got a bunch of it done in the greenhouse area. Went through and did some cleanup in here because after I weeded last time it rained. And uh, a lot of it got dried out, but now we got more coming. I don't even know what I did in this one. I mowed the grass. I weeded the garden. I won't know until I edit it what else I did. Hopefully it's not boring. Not too boring. I will see you guys on the next video.